<laughs> they really do tell a very different occasion in the Queen's life. Some of the happiest times in her life were in Malta. Her Majesty said it was so happy the time in the former colony. Malta celebrated a royal occasion when Princess Elizabeth presented the new naval king's colour to the Mediterranean fleet, a fleet in which her husband, Prince Philip, holds an active command. President George Vella, the president of Malta, is with me. Uh, Mr. President, thank you. Thank you for the invitation. The, the, the memories, obviously, of Malta, it, it, was a, it was a relatively short period of time when, when the Queen, the Princess and her husband were there, but it had a disproportionate effect on her and the way she... Till the very end. Mm? Till the very end. Till the very end, yes. <clears throat> she used to refer to those, to those uh, months and years as... Malta being the Isle of Happy Memories, because obviously she was married to, uh, she was just the, na the wife of a naval officer who was stationed in Malta, and uh, she took up residence over there. They didn't have a place to stay, and for, for some months they were staying in, in, uh, in one of the palaces of the governor, which, is, which was obviously under the control of the governor at the time. But then they were asked to join um, the uncle of, the, of Prince Philip, uh, Mountbatten, in, uh, in a villa, Villa Guardamanja. Which, in which they lived on and off between 49 and 51, as you said. And that villa, <coughs> the the government, your government, the government of Malta, has sort of taken over, hasn't it? No, we it? have recently. As, as, a, recently. as, a, as, a, as what? As a, a recently, no, it has, it has, for a long period of time, it was abandoned and it went into decay. But recently, about two, three years ago, I think, the government uh, got hold of it. He bought it. It's being renovated. And hopefully, um, it will be you know, something dedicated to the royal family. I remember distinctly when I, I, I was invited by Her Majesty to, to meet her in Buckingham Palace in 2020, um, the moment I mentioned this, her eyes lit up. And her face, you know, she put on her characteristic smile and, and she was really happy about it because um, everybody says that, even, even King Charles, pro just yesterday, um, the moment you speak to the members of the royal family, they, they refer immediately to what their mother used to say about the nice times they used to have in, in Malta. For you, <clears throat> what role does the Commonwealth have? The Queen was very clear, and the Commonwealth has agreed Charles is head of the Commonwealth, mm -hmm. but she was to some extent, and he's done much work with it, the glue, in a sense. That's it. So what happens to the Commonwealth now, do you think? No, you have to realise that <clears throat> it was her it was her baby, sort of, in the sense that it had already started. Um, however, she gave it quite a big push. She, had, she, she assisted the decolonization process. And many of those countries, she brought them back into the Commonwealth, and even others from, from, from who were not colonies in the past. Today we have Angola, we have Rwanda. And she was dead bent on seeing that this organization works. And it works in the sense that she was conscious of the very important social, economic, political clout that these 56, 54 countries have around the globe. Can that continue? Yes, of course. But it needs, obviously, it needs planning and it needs cooperation. I mean, there are programs which are going on. The only thing that, <clears throat> and I'm saying this because I worked quite a lot in the Commonwealth, um, one of the problems that there is is there are not enough funds. And one has to um, uh, invest in more funding if one wants to see that the, 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 the prospects of these countries um, uh, they succeed. Otherwise, it will be difficult. For example, there are certain countries, as you know, many of them, uh, a large number, who are small island states, who have very small economies, and they are very, very vulnerable. So if they were to, to, to um, ask for funds to inv for investment, they, they will be asked huge um, interest rates. I mean, we thought once of what we used to call a small state trade facility. So that we can, the big countries in the Commonwealth, would, would make good for those that are small. And are you, uh, I mean, obviously you're president uh, at the moment, and therefore that might constrain you in some ways, but would you see yourself helping the Commonwealth in the future? 
We have always had the No, what I mean is, you know, to, to, to go to this next level, to, to become more relevant, to, uh, that, to that, as you that say... Is, that has been the, the late, late motive, that has been the subject which we were discussing all along in Chogans, in Chogan meetings, which we have every two years, and also in my role at one time as one of the eminent persons who were asked by, by the Secretary General to, to make a review of the, of the way the Secretariat functions, because you have to start from, even from the administration itself. Mr. President, let's end. Your, your favorite moment of the day, what was it like? What for you? made the day you mean today yes well today it was a day everybody who was present will remember because um, first of all there was this sol the solemn atmosphere in the environment of the gothic cathedral of, of westminster the fact that you knew that all those were dignitaries were collected over there in silence paying homage to this woman who didn't do anything extraordinary she only did a job, which she promised to do when she was um, way back in 53, but she did it with the results that we see today. I mean, there was an outpouring of love, of affection, and also of, of it was a tribute in itself, seeing all those dignitaries assembled in, 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 in Westminster Abbey. I think this is what I'm going to take, the, 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 the remembering, you know, the solemnity of, of, the, of the ceremony, which was really good. I'm very grateful, sir. Thank you, Mr. Thank